miss you most in the fall Three years, eleven months together After one night in Montreal Red leaves are in the breeze of Nashville Good morning everyone and welcome to another college day in my life. I'm not going to give a huge intro because I'm sure you guys know what this video is going to be. I'm just going to bring you guys along on my day because I have a lot of stuff to do so it's going to be super productive. Right now it is 9.40 in the morning and I kind of wanted to start my work a bit earlier but I guess I just had a slow morning. Today I have a meeting with one of my teachers at noon to talk about one of the essays that I have due this week and I'm filming a day in my life. By the way, one of my best friends is coming on Thursday and she's spending a week with me and I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to be filming the first day she arrives and then maybe another day too. So then on Friday I have this mastery question post. It's like a 500 word essay. I actually finished it last night so I'm just going to reread it and then submit it today. This screen analysis is an essay about a movie and that's like actually what my meeting today is about and then after I go to the meeting with my professor I'm going to start working on this today. And then as you can see I have two readings to do and 10 screenings to watch for this one class and then I have to write a discussion post about it and then I also have this paper here but I'm not gonna focus on that today so in this one class that I have the teacher has started releasing her content on Tuesdays instead of Mondays or Sundays like the other teachers do which is kind of annoying because before she did this I would be able to get all the mini readings and screenings out of the way on Monday and then I could spend the rest of the week like working on bigger assignments but now I have to go through and do all her readings and screenings because I want to get that stuff Stuff, like out of the way get it done so that then I can focus on the three essays that I have due this week so now I'm gonna go through all of this content and my goal is to get it all done before noon because I have the meeting with my teacher at noon so hopefully if I get all of this done before then I can go to the meeting and then right after the meeting I can start my other essay so that is my plan for today I really hope that you guys enjoy this vlog if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment I love to talk to you guys and your comments truly help me grow so I would really appreciate that and of course if you're not already you should definitely subscribe down below and let's just get this day started It is 11.22 right now and I just finished doing the readings and screenings for this class. I mean, the readings wouldn't open, but we don't need them for the discussion post. So I think it's fine that I don't actually read the readings, but I also have to watch four lectures and six mini episodes of a TV series. So now that that's done, I think I'm gonna start writing my discussion post. They're not like a big deal. They're literally worth 1% of our participation grade. And she asks for like one or two short paragraphs. Like it's really not a big deal, but. I just still try my hardest on these things um, so I'm probably gonna work on that because I have like 40 minutes until I have to meet with my other teacher and yeah I have to write my discussion post and then I also have to reply to a peers discussion post so I'll see if I get that done today sometimes I'll like write my discussion post on Tuesdays but then I'll only post it on Wednesdays or Thursdays once I can read like other people's things just to make sure I'm on the right track but also something kind of exciting happened while I was watching all those mini episodes so I'm taking an editing class this semester I'm in film and media if you didn't know so I'm taking like a film editing class a little while ago We had a project where we had to photoshop a video into another video So what I did is I photoshopped myself into a video that my camp made in 2019 And it's like a happy new year video and everyone's in different costumes because it was like the night before we did like a staff talent show So I literally dressed myself in like 10 different costumes and I filmed myself in my backyard on 
my phone watching the news and then I photoshopped myself into that video and I like color matched it and stuff and I had to take out the background of my backyard and on my phone I'm watching the news and I'm hearing all the bad news stories that happened in 2020 so my teacher actually just emailed me saying that she's doing like a post on the film and media Instagram page she's posting a bunch of students work and she asked if she could post my video that I made so I sent it over to her I'm really excited that she like chose me I hope that means I'm getting a good grade because I have actually not gotten my grade back for that project but I'm waiting for her to post it on Instagram so I'll show it to you guys when she posts it and then I'm just gonna be working on my discussion post until my meeting at 12. Okay, I managed to write the first paragraph out of two for my discussion post, but now I have to log on to the Zoom because it starts at 12 and it's 12 right now and I'm not on it. So I'm just gonna log on to this. I'm probably gonna take a few notes during the Zoom because I'm writing an essay about the movie that we're gonna be talking about. So I'm gonna take notes on it for the essay because I wanna start the essay today. And let me just log on. <laughs> Okay, the Zoom is done. It is 1.02 right now. It was like kind of helpful, not that helpful. I don't know. I'm gonna make myself something right now to eat, I'm not sure what. And then I'm gonna finish my discussion post for the other class. So yeah, that's the plan for now. I'm gonna eat and then work on the discussion post and I'll catch up with you guys later. I was just in my bed doing work and I looked out my window at the sky and it looked so like gray slash white. Like it looked like there was like pollution in the air or something, but it's actually because it just started snowing. You can kind of see it a little bit. There, you can see it. It's like really, really small, but it's snowing. Anyways, right now it is 3.39 in the afternoon, so it's a little while later, but I did get some work done. I finished up my discussion post that I was working on, but I'm not gonna post this yet because I want to read what other people are writing just to make sure that like I'm not missing something huge and that like I'm on the right track because as of right now there's only one other person who's posted their discussion post but yeah I finished this so I'm gonna save it and then put that away for now and then I also spent some time reading over and I made like a few changes to my mastery question it's a 500 word like short essay or response I'm not really sure like what to call it it's just like 500 words to talk about a subject that we're talking about in class but like it's called mastery because we have to like go like super into detail and like act as if we're masters on the subject so even though it's 500 words it has to be like a perfect 500 words and i reread it i think it's fine i'm gonna post it one essay down two to go so at least now i can check off that i did the mastery question there we go oh and then i can also check off that i went to the seminar at 12. i just remembered that while i was working on my mastery question my editing professor posted the thing on the film and media instagram the little video that i did so i'm gonna show it to you guys it's a minute long so i think i'm gonna like cut and only show you guys the scenes that i really like Hobby! 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 Australia, where the nation's largest evacuation is now underway the death toll rising and tonight the staggering toll of the american cities up in flames hours before a curfew was ordered in the war zone barge groups torch police cruisers the u.s does not have have enough coronavirus test kits to meet the current demand. Coronavirus hitting a new milestone. More than 16 million cases worldwide. The Quebec government announced yesterday that all summer camps in Quebec um, cannot run. But anyways, right now I'm going to start planning for my critical analysis essay on this movie called Illusions. So I have the document already prepared here and then I got my tabs open. So I have the rubric that she made. I have the reading that was like associated with the movie and then I have lecture one, lecture two, and the actual film. I'm going to start planning my essay. So I'm going to go through all of these 
these things and like take notes on the lectures take notes on the readings and what i like to do is write in my notebook this is like for the different paper that i have due this week but i kind of like to write what i'm going to talk about in the intro my point one two three what i'm going to talk about in the conclusion and then i also plan out where i'm going to like cite different references and stuff like that this was my plan for a midterm paper that i had to do a few weeks ago if you watch my midterm vlog you will see how all of this came to be but i kept track of like what i would talk about in each paragraph and then i highlighted each paragraph a different color and then when i was going through the lectures and the readings and stuff and taking notes i kind of like sorted them into which paragraph like i could put this source into if that makes sense i feel like that could kind of stress people out i just love being organized and i'm so happy that this like notebook method works for me so i'm just gonna do a little bit more work now the sun is actually starting to set so i'll probably film that for you guys because it's so pretty and then i'll see you at dinner I just finished dinner. It is 6.21 right now. I had leftover pizza from last night because last night I made myself a vegetarian pizza. So I reheated the other half of it and that's what I ate for dinner. I actually haven't had pizza in the longest time because I've started getting these like meal kit boxes. And with those, I've been eating much healthier than usual. But little update on my analysis. I went through the lectures and I took notes on like what I could use in my analysis. So all of these are from lecture one and then this is lecture two as well as this is lecture two and then i started taking quotes from the reading i think this was like all on one page and there are still like seven pages or something left in the reading that i have to read there are just so many quotes in the reading that can really back up my points so i think that instead of continuing to write it all down because it's like basically the whole reading supports my idea i'm gonna like type out those quotes but i'm gonna do that after i shower and possibly start writing that essay today we'll see It is 7.32 and if I didn't have work right now, I could literally go to bed. I am ready for bed. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but the daylight savings this year has been so awful. I hate it so much. It makes me feel like it's nighttime at five o'clock, but I'm going to continue going through the reading right now and writing down all the quotes that I can use for my essay. I forget when the last time I updated you guys was, but right now it is 8.46 and I just spent the longest time trying to come up with my thesis. First of all, I have three whole pages of quotes. Well, I guess two and a bit of quotes that I can use to back up my arguments. And then after I did that, I tried to write a thesis. I tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I tried eight different times to write a thesis and then I finally figured out one over here. And now what I'm going to do is is map out my essay like I showed you guys earlier. So I'm just gonna map out the introduction, point one, point two, point three, and the conclusion. I'm so happy that just took me less than 10 minutes to write my entire outline and I wrote a lot like as you can see and right now it is only 9 12 it is so early but I don't know what to do because I really don't think I should get into this I don't know I feel like a whole day dedicated to this would be a lot more productive because I would just like get into the mindset hmm you know what I'm gonna try and write the introduction right now that's what I'll do Okay, good convo, see you later. Okay, I think I am done at my first draft of the introduction. Like, I think I'm gonna just leave it for tonight. It is 113 words, so I only have like 987 left. Did I do that right? 1000 minus 113. What? I said 900, 887 words left. So
So I think for the next 45 minutes, I'm going to be reading. I have missed my book because I haven't read at all all day today. So this is the end of my day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you want to see more college vlogs from me, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Again, I respond to every single comment. So come have a conversation with me. And if you are not already, I would love it if you would subscribe down below. I love you all so much. If you are in school right now, I really hope that everything is going well for you because I know with finals approaching, it is a really stressful time. I'm always here for you guys. I love you and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.